Hey guys and welcome back to Everyday AI, the channel where we talk about how you interact with artificial intelligence in your everyday life. If you didn't know, CES, or the Consumer Electronics Show 2019, started last week and actually ended last week in Las Vegas, and it featured a lot of AI technology that might end up in your homes or in your pockets in the next couple of years. While I was not able to attend CES 2019, partially because I was in London and partially because CES is not cheap, I did keep up with the latest AI developments, which we'll talk about here. I also somehow managed to catch CES flu despite not actually being there. AI at CES was applied to a bunch of different fields, including home integration, health and fitness, and autonomous vehicles. There were also a ton of companies there to showcase their new tech, with some familiar names mixed into some new players. In the interest of time, I'm going to cover a couple of the applications that I just thought were particularly interesting. Starting with home integration, the Barracuda Group company showcased Artemis, an AI and augmented reality mirror that can track changes in your vision, allows you to try on makeup or change your hair color virtually, and gives you tutorials for different hairstyles or different makeup styles, as well as is responsive to voice commands. We'll see whether it also tells you whether you're the fairest of them all. You'll be able to buy this as the company plans to make it available in the second half of the year, but it won't be cheap. They're starting to retail it at 20k. Also in home integration, Pindrop displayed their voice identity platform, which can distinguish your voice from others and use that as verification for accounts or devices instead of a password. My roommate just got an Alexa, and it only took about a day to realize how easy it would be for anyone to tell Alexa to do anything, so this could be a great improvement for home security. Switching gears to health, Oral-B showcased their new AI toothbrush called the Genius X. Did we really need this? The toothbrush tracks your personal brushing style to provide personalized feedback on the ways that you could improve your dental health and will be available for purchase in September. Personally, I'm going to put this in the AI for the sake of having AI bucket along with this AI selfie drone that came out a couple years ago. If you remember my video on Truthify, the app that tells you whether your friends are lying based on their facial expressions, we saw something similar with AI for Robotics at CES 2019. Neurodata Lab showcased Promobot, a robot that can recognize your emotions in real time. There are also a lot of interesting panels on AI industry leaders, including one on ethics in AI that I would have loved to attend. It's interesting to see which topics developers are considering as we enter 2019. Lastly, autonomous cars were of course featured at CES 2019. Now historically, autonomous cars at CES have been mock-ups where you can't actually use the car or have it drive you around at CES. However, Yandex, a Russian company that develops autonomous cars, had a real car that could drive you around in the local Las Vegas area on a short 15 minute ride. And it's really cool. As someone who d did not ride in it, I would absolutely love to ride in this thing. Um, if you haven't already seen it, Marquez Brownlee did a video on his ride and does a really good job explaining some of the interesting things about the technology. Now, obviously this isn't everything that happened at CES 2019, but this is some of the stuff that I think would be a little more likely to end up in our homes, offices, or on our bodies sometime in the near future. There were also a lot of interesting non-AI tech at CES, although it did seem, I guess, a little bit repetitive based on previous years. Um, one of the things that people hyped a lot was the roll-up television, but that was at CES last year. Um, they just put in a prettier case. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to go to CES 2020, give you guys an in-person take on the newest AI technology. But for now, you can subscribe and stay tuned for my next video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!